welcome to the Art of Pointy Things, a channel where I discuss my adventures in knitting, sewing, embroidery and other similar crafts. I'm Dusty and in this video I thought I would go through my project plans for 2020. I know that normally people do make nine um, but I'm... I don't knit very fast so I probably won't choose nine patterns. I might knit nine things this year but I'm not choosing nine patterns because by the time I finish like the first six I probably will have changed my mind because I get easily distracted by pretty things. So I'm just going to pick seven patterns that interest me now. And seven is very arbitrary, just happens to be the seven patterns that interest me now. Um, and then from there we'll see what else I knit this year. So it's also, I, as I mentioned already, I changed my mind a lot, so it isn't a definitive list, it's just things that I'm interested in now and that I want to try and knit this year rather than putting off further into the future. So the first thing is I want to knit The Dark Water by Jennifer Steingass. So this is a colourwork yoke jumper and I've never made a colourwork jumper before um, and I think this looks like quite a simple one. Well, a pretty simple one. Um, it's only got two colours in it, so that's all good. Um, it also has a lot of straight lines, which appeals to sort of the geometric love that I have. So what I'm going to use to knit that is whole super soft. I've got these two colours. Oh wow, that is probably not. Shouldn't have shown you on the back, blue background. So this is Oxford, which is a dark grey. Um, and then this is Glacier, which is a pale blue. Um, it looks very... It, it's a lot less grey in real life. I think it's because of the blue background. Um, but it's a nice pale blue. And I was hoping to hold it single um, for the jumper. So that's one of them. Um, I think this should, it's quite a high contrast from the dark to the pale and hopefully I'll make a jumper in sort of, I quite like the greys and I love blue so hopefully that should be what I want. So the next thing I want to knit, I don't actually have any yarn for at the moment so I'm going to go back to my project just so you guys have something to watch. Um, and it is the Festive Sweater Pullover by Ellie from Skein Deer Knits. So I currently, I have a Christmas jumper, but it's, as I mentioned in my last podcast episode, regrettably fast fashion, very cheap, and it's also um, a bit the wrong size for what I want. And I was watching Skained In, it's podcast, which you should totally check out this year, uh, last, and she's, she sort of released the pattern as a knit along. Um, you meant to have cast it on during the Christmas period, but I have not because I don't have the yarn for it, and it's the festive sweater. And it's this either all over colour work, which is how I'm going to do it, or yoke only um, colour work jumper that just has loads of different motifs on it, different types of motifs that you can do in any sort of order. And I absolutely love the sort of style it is, and I could definitely see myself wearing a Christmas jumper made of um, that looks like that. So um, I also, it's like she's got like the little stars and snowflakes and snowmen and the reindeer look absolutely gorgeous and I'm definitely doing the reindeer and probably the snowmen. I just need to figure out what else I want to do. I also need to figure out what yarn I want to do. There's a part of me that wants to get a bit more holst and do it in holst, um, super soft. But I'm also tempted by, I think it's Woolly Knits who do 500 gram fingering weight yarn cones and I'm tempted to get some of that. I'm not really sure what colour, as I said I sort of gra gravitate more towards greys and blues but that's not really Christmassy colours so I was thinking of either doing cream and brown or potentially just going all the way and doing cream and red but my concern is I might not wear it as much if it's red because it's not really my favourite colour to wear. Um, there's also a part of me that wants to be a masochist and rather than knitting just a jumper to continue doing the pattern and to instead knit a dress I think that would be really cute and something I would really I would love to wear um, I had 
when I was younger I had a knit Christmas dress that I absolutely loved and I think I would really like sort of a knitted Christmas jumper dress. Um, so having thoughts on the colour um, but that is something I definitely want to knit this year. Um, right, the next item on my list is the Curly Whirly Socks by Anushka from The Crimson Stitchery, which is another podcast you should go check out. Maybe I should make a podcast recommendation video at some point. There's loads that I love. So, she last year before last now, I think it was 2020, she released a bunch of lace sock patterns um, that were designed for the summer and one of them was Curly Whirly and it's been on my wish list since she released it, I just didn't have, I just haven't knit that sort of thing and I also don't know necessarily what yarn I want to use so I have in my stash this pale blue Cornflower, West Yorkshire signature, West Yorkshire's been a signature four ply. I think I could use this, but they are meant to be summer lightweight lace socks. And so there's a part of me that's tempted to go and find some of these sock blends that are part, either part cotton, I think you can get some wool cotton sock blends, or even just cotton. She has some interesting suggestions from in her lace weight sock patterns. I know one of them is a nettle blend, wool and nettle. Um, I do have the wool and bamboo knocking around, but I've kind of got a project already in mind for that one specifically. Um, but that sort of thing I'm tempted to get rather than, this is a wool nylon blend. Um, and I think maybe for the summer socks, having a natural, two natural fibers in there will make them a lot cooler. So that's sort of where I'm going on that one. Um, but it's got a really funky lace weight, lace, lace pattern socks. So I should also note that everything I'm sort of discussing will be linked down. I'll have all the patterns I want to knit. Um, I'm not going to be putting pictures up because I feel weird about the copyright of doing that. So I'm not going to. Um, but I will link all the patterns down below and also any of the sort of other things that I mention. Um, yeah. So the next one is another sock pattern. Um, if you watch my recent podcast vlog thing, you will know that I got the 52 Weeks of Sock book, finally, probably one of the last people to get it. Um, and I mean, I want to knit most of them in there. They're beautiful patterned socks. I'm not much of a colour work person. I very much, much prefer texture. Though as with the jumpers, I do want to get more into colour work. And I think colour work jumpers I definitely have their place. Um, and so I think the one I wanted to knit was Candle Flame, which is the number 46 by Mona Schmidt. Um, and I reason I'm holding this yarn is my, I want to use this, this is my recently hand dyed with red onion skins yarn, it's sort of this reddish brown. I think it might be coming up more red on camera than it actually is in real life. It is very much a reddish brown as opposed to a brownish red if you have any idea what that even means. Um, so as I said, I've, I want to sort of knit more textured and fun socks. Last year I knit a lot of socks, of, I knit three pairs of socks for Christmas and they were very plain. I think I got bored of them. Well, I definitely got bored of them towards the end. So um, I think more textured socks. My current plans are all to knit socks for myself, but maybe I'll make some textured socks for other people. I have got that blue sat around and some other sock weight yarns. So yeah, textured socks, lace socks, cable socks. I can't remember, I can't actually, I can't remember quite what pattern, what kind of pattern goes into that one, but yeah, so that's socks. So, uh, next thing is the Current Mood Shawl by Leslie Ann Robinson. I think it's Nick Graffiti. And basically, I've actually mentioned before in my videos that I actually want to actually finally get around and make it. Um, last year, I knit shawl for the first time in a while, I think. I think I have knit shawls before. Um, and 
I absolutely loved it. I love the way I love wearing it. I love having it wrapped around me. It's great. Fully recommend shawls. And I also tried brioche in a small cow as a Christmas present. And I love that as well. So I thought I would combine the shawl and the brioche. And early last year, I can't quite remember when, again, another podcaster, Vullenvine, who I probably pronounced wrong, but my brain can't pronounce correctly, um, did the current mood shawl, which sort of involves three colours and it's got brioche and lace work. So two things I do quite enjoy. Very textured, very pretty. And I've got these three yarns from Bird Street Yarns, um, which I have shown off before. I absolutely love, they're beautiful and I really want to get around to using them. I've got Just Rust, Kestrel, I should spin them the other way, Kestrel, and Pebbles on a Beach. And they create this quite a good fade. My one concern with using these yarns, and I would like some advice if you're willing to give it of what you think, is that they're very variegated and very speckled yarns and I'm worried that it will distract from the brioche and the lace features of the shawl. that will sort of overwhelm them and you won't see them as much. But at the same time, when I did my birthday cake shawl, I used a very heavily speckled yarn for the lace and it actually, I think, worked really well. Please ignore pinging of computers. Um, but I think it worked really well. So I think I might give it a go, but any advice would be greatly appreciated. But yeah, no. I love these yarns. I've had them for over a year now and I really just want to get along to making making something with them. And this is my plan of what to make with them. So, the next thing I want is another garment that again I've mentioned before and I've been mentioning for months and I might finally actually get around to making. Um, well I have actually, I've started it. And that's actually what you've seen me knitting on when I've been trying to have something to do with my hands which is a seed stitch sweater vest, sort of designed by me. So this is the one where I've taken my measurements, I knit a gauge swatch, no idea where that gauge swatch is, but I knit it, gauge swatch, and then use that in my measurements to design something that fit me. There might be a video about that design process coming out, it was very, I don't know quite, I think I broke my brain trying to figure it out. Um, but. This is something, as I said, I wanted to make for a while. I sort of, I wear a lot, I like wearing um, collared shirts. And I think, especially in sort of the spring and autumn, having a, just a vest rather than a full sweater over the top would be nice. So this is also this, yeah, I, I can't speak sometimes, it's great fun. Um, this is also this in Holst, uh, I've got a cone. I am holding it double for this. Um, and it's in the vintage heather colourway, so it's a sort of dark blue. Um, and yes, as you can see, I am making progress on it. I did cast it on at the start of this year, so it's only been a few days and I've already made quite a bit of progress, so I'm looking forward to this. Um, again, textured, fun, definitely looking forward to wearing this and having it in my wardrobe. Um, so, and then on to the final pattern, which is, again, something I've mentioned in my podcast and I really want to start this year, but I am absolutely in no way planning to finish it this year. And that's the Coziest Memory Blanket by Kemper Ray. And again, this is something I saw another podcast do, Heather and Hops, a cat from Heather and Hops is making one as well. And I just, especially with all the socks I've started knitting and a lot more fingering weight projects, I've got a lot more scraps sitting around of, of various yarn and I want to use them to make a, a blanket and then um you know blanket I think that would be really nice it's, it's a square blanket mitered square and you pick up stitches along the edges so there's no sewing together which is what really appeals to me is I'm not a massive fan of sewing together and I'm always concerned that it'll be the weakest point and break. So with a blanket you shouldn't expect much tension on it but I think picking up the stitches along the edge is a really good way to create quite a secure edge. Um, you sort of do it on socks, you do it on some garments depending on your construction method so it's, it's such a, it's a really I think a good way to do it and I'm sort of looking forward to it and I think I'm rambling at this point. 
Um, so those are the specific patterns that I have in mind this year. So that's seven that I really want to knit and are hopefully cast on soon. Um, or soonish, depending. I, I try to have only so many projects on the needles at one time, mainly because I don't actually have that many needles. Um, oh, look, the yarn is now tied in a knot. This is going to be fun. I have, I will also, you know, I, please tell me in the comments below what you guys will be knitting this year, sort of projects you have planned, things you definitely want to knit, things you're thinking about. For example, I'm also thinking about making some more cowls. Um, maybe lace work or cables or maybe even more brioche so you know please tell me what patterns you're planning on knitting and I will go and get inspiration from other people as I've already pointed out many times in this video I very much see other people knit things and I'm like ah oh, I would love to have that myself that's such a good idea um, so you know I love seeing what other people's suggestions and then going through and seeing what I want to do um, but that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Um, if you enjoyed yourself, then please like this video and leave a comment below. And if you want to see what I'm making this year, want to see more progress on these items in my monthly knitting podcast, then please subscribe. I upload a sort of vlog podcast at the beginning of every month. Well, I try to. Sometimes I get out of sync. Um, but thank you for joining me today, and I hope you have a lovely day. Thank you.